All right. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom. All right. We the Hebrew is like right here in Tampa, Florida. All right. Here to preach the truth again. You know, myself, the brother Arya. We got the brother Ash, Mayaka um, Allah, and the brother Mayum here on the line from the camp, the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, Bay camp. First, we're going to give all honor, glory, and praise to our Lord, Yahweh. And double honor to our elders and apostles at GMS, Great Millstone, who rule in C12. Fight, please, to you. I came out there. That's just this word of truth and sincerity. And of course, peace to any sisters out there as well, too, that quietness and humbleness. And then we the brothers out here in Tampa. And, uh, you know, we were here on the phone having a conference call. And we were, you know, discussing, you know, the brother Ash's uh, uh, dream that he had or vision that he had. Uh, um, last night or early in the morning, and which kind of touched us all, and um, which compelled him to make a video, which um not only was very edifying but was uplifting, because it shows us that it shows us everything that we've been talking about our elders have been teaching and the Bible teaches is is is, is something that's going to come to pass here in modern day world and here in modern day America. All these horrible visions, which are horrible to the to the world. But to us, it's comforting because we know that once these things happen, then a better world is going to come. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really, it doesn't really scare us like that. We really are just in a, in a mindset of, of you know, bring it already. You know, we're ready for it. You know, you know, our spirits are, are, are. It feels like that we're ready for it. The Lord knows when we're going to really be ready, but you know, brothers are ready to get the heck out of here. So when we see and hear about visions like that. Uh, when we see a movie or something that 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 kind of, that kind of portrays what the Bible is speaking and preaching, it uplifts us, and we know yes, it's going to be hard times because the, the Bible speaks about Jacob's trouble, and uh and and it speaks about a time never before seen on the, on the earth. But we know through the Spirit and power of our Lord and power Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that we're going to be guided through it no matter what, and. uh my brother got a scripture to bring out with. Yeah, not I, I, got, bring one out. I got one real quick. This is uh, chat, uh, Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Kind. And do you see that? And and that and that goes for the the actual prophets of the Lord, and that goes for regular people on the on this earth as well, through regular Jake, heathen even. All right, because this heathen even to have these dreams about the end times that they, they have very vivid visions about nuclear destruction is coming. Very vivid visions about uh, about about visitation to the earth from what they may perceive as being aliens, but there's something more than that. Okay, these things are are is it, starting. To, to, to accelerate on the earth. Uh, and we see signs of this thing actually coming to pass. When you look at what's going on in the news and what's going on in your own neighborhood, it show, it's, it's the Lord is showing all of us that something is about to happen. If you tuned in with the, with, with the, with the, uh, with the times, you're going to see and you, and you can pretty much predict forecast of what's about to happen out here in the world. And it's not good. It's really not good. So again, vision, uh, the Lord's going to pour out the spirit upon our own flesh. Yep. Okay? Kay. So women, little girls, children, uh, and men of the Lord. Okay? And and uh, and, and heathens even. Go ahead, brother. And if I may add, you know, um, the the Lord throughout the scriptures, what he, how did he show the prophecies? He showed them through visions. The the, the way that the, the prophets, the disciples, the apostles were able to describe the prophecies were because of visions that the Lord has sent unto them. So it ain't not, it ain't not new. You know, the Lord is showing his prophets visions of, again, the same visions that he showed before, just different accounts. But it's the same things. There's, we're seeing the same visions that the prophets of old are, had, had already seen. You know, I just wanted to add that. That's why the prophets used to be called seers back in the day. Yep. Yeah, because what are you seeing? You're seeing, you're you're, you're seeing, you're seeing uh, the future, basically. Yeah. Okay, and, or an understanding. And sometimes these visions are are, are very uh, cryptic. Um, but if you have the spirit of the Lord on you, you are going to be able to 
to um, decipher what what the Lord is trying to tell you, and and um, and it's all through the Spirit, it's like Daniel, you know, you'll be able to you'll be able to decipher what those visions are, and it, it may not mean something to the person that had the vision, but but if you tell that dream or that vision to somebody who has the Spirit on them, he'll be able to break it down for you. And usually those cut those type of visions are about something that's going to happen in the near future or in the future, sometime in the future. So the, these visions, a lot of these visions that, are, that these prophets are, our forefathers had, they're, they're, they're actually coming to pass now here in the year 2019, um, you know, in the past few years as well too. These visions are actually starting to come to pass now, um, um, going into the, the, you know, going into the mark of the beast, going into um, nuclear warfare. These things are, we're starting to see that now. Visitations on the earth, the earthquakes, all these things are happening right now. And to the average person, the average person, it, it's terrifying. You know, they don't understand it. But to a man of the Lord, this is something that we've been waiting for. And now this is the time that the Lord has, has sanctioned for these things to actually happen. Because, you know, it hasn't happened in the 90s. It wasn't happening in the 80s, but it's happening now. You know, and, and we are here to be witness of it. Huh? Um, real, oh, go ahead. Uh, but, no, no, you got to I was just gonna say if I could get one precept to show um, about the the prophets being seers and how they were getting visions, and that's why they were called seers. Uh, this is uh, First Samuel chapter three, verse one. It says, "And the same, and the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision, All right? and there was no prophets in that time. Yep. You now then, then." Samuel came and Samuel start, started to get the visions from the Lord. The Lord started telling him this would happen. You know, this that was going to happen, you know? Okay. Yep, and, and that's what it is. There were, there were no seers at that time. But now there, there's <laughs> there's plenty of seers. And, and, and not only that, but, well, let me, let me keep reading on this real quick. This is chapter, or Acts chapter 2, verse 18. It says, and, well, let me read the, the 17th verse again. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days. All right, that's the key word, last days. Saith the Lord, or, or saith Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Verse 18, and on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. See that? It, and, and, and those visions have fall upon man today. And, a lot of, and you'll, see, you'll see those visions fall upon, uh, uh, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, that you know, brother was putting up the video of the, of the young girl that had the vision of Yahweh Shah's coming back. And she didn't, you know, it, you know, she didn't realize what she was doing it was, was actually prophesying, you know, and it, it, because that's a prophecy that, that's said to come to pass, the coming of our Lord. And, you know, you're she, saying he's coming. She kept on saying it over and over, but she, when she was saying it, she was saying it with complete terror on her face, and she was sobbing and weeping, not weeping out of, out of joy, but weeping out of, out of, out of pure, unadulterated yeah, fear. Yeah, just like and, that dream and, <laughs> that I had. That's how it was. Just like it was the beautiful dream. beautiful that you mentioned it. That's how they were... That's how they were explaining to me what was going on in that same spirit, so to say. That's beautiful. That you if it your up. brothers remember that, <laughs> right. you know, you brothers, you know, that are listening to this, you know, um, this this show. If y'all remember that 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 video, of that young girl, she was she, she she there was no way to console her. Okay, she was completely distraught from the vision she had, and I we can we can only imagine what what the poor child saw. But what she saw was a vision of our Lord and Savior coming back to to uh, to wreak vengeance upon the wicked of this earth, and that's not going to be anything to, to take lightly. That's going to be a horrifying day when that day comes. And she saw it. She saw a glimpse of it in her head. And this is a child. This is a child. She can't she can't understand what she saw. You know. But go ahead, bro. Yeah, she probably yeah she she didn't understand who she was seeing anyway. She probably thought it was like some a ghoulish creature or something. Maybe you know. He most likely didn't think it was the Lord. Okay. No, she, yeah, she, that's not the vision. That's not the the uh, idea of of 
or, or the um, image of the Lord and Savior that the average person has in their mind. So what she saw, the reason why she was so she was so upset is because it was it was probably monstrous. Yeah, I got and, a, and, a precept for y'all. Go ahead. To prove, yep, yep. to prove why why she saw what she saw, because most likely she ain't gonna make it. <laughs> to be real with you, mm-hmm. this is uh, Amos yep. five and uh, uh, eighteen. It says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh." Well, I'll read, so like I read it verbatim. It says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord." To what end is it for you, the day of the Lord? Hold on, stop right there, brother. Go ahead. Oh, uh, stop right there. Yeah, like you said, you read it verbatim. Well, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Like you know, all these Christians they call him the Lord and God and all this and that. You know, which we know is Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh We know that. But these people, they're going to call, they're going to call upon this title, you know, Lord God. So what want you to desire that day? Because <laughs> what, um, read it. so go ahead and finish it off, brother. I'll read it again. Okay. It says, what want you that desire the day of the Lord? To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Mm-hmm. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You think the day of the Lord is going to be the most happiest day on the earth? But what have you been doing for the Lord? What end is it for you? Why are you so happy? Why are you so cheery about the coming of the Lord? You're such, you're such a happy, go lucky Christian, but you're not doing anything for the Lord. Here it is, you're shaving your face, you eat all types of abominations. You know, you, you, you're, you, you're not, you, you're not um, uplifting the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures. All right, you don't go into prophecy. You don't believe in prophecy. You think everybody's equal. That's not in the Bible. So what end is it for you? All right, here it is. You, you, you believe. You believe in uh, LGBT, okay? Lesbian, gay, queer, bi. That's not in the Bible, bro. That's not something that the Lord was about. But so, what end is it for you? What end is it for you? The end is the end for you is going to be darkness. That's and and darkness is a bad situation. You don't want to be left in the dark. It's not going to be light. It's not going to be happy. It's going to be a bad day. You're going to have a bad time. So two thirds are going to have these visions. Yes, like that little girl, like the brother said, she's probably not going to make it. All right, she was supposed to have that vision to what? So, so, so it could be put on the internet to uplift the elect. That's one part. Hey, we're, we're going back to the, the preset we started this video with. You know, your sons and daughters saw see visions. You know, they saw dream dreams. You know, that's 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 a part of what what, what happened in that this uh, uh you know particular scenario. You know, she dreamed the dream of the terrible and dreadful day of the Lord. <laughs> no, better her than me, because I know that was scary. You know, and that's a fearful thing to 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 actually have that vision and not know what it is that you're dealing with. You know, I I dare not ask you know ask the Lord to give me a vision like that because I don't know how I'll be able to handle. It. The Lord give me something I can handle because the Lord basically bugged that child out, mm. and you see a lot of other people that have visions of the Lord. All right, and they're completely bugged out. Okay, yeah. they don't know what the hell they just saw. They see, they see visions of nuclear destruction. They don't know why they're having these dreams. Yeah. And then they turn on the news and they see talks of nuclear war with all these huge nations, these, these world dominating nations. And all there is is talks about nuclear war, and you have a dream about a vivid ass dream about the destruction of, of, of your beloved America. Yeah. And if I may add, she that the little girl she didn't she didn't specify what she seen in her dream. She just kept saying the the, the Lord he he's coming. He's come. so who knows what she really saw, you know? And she she probably had a a, a bizarre dream of, of, of the chariots or or of Yahweh Shai. Who knows what she really saw, you know? But it, the point is she didn't know what she didn't know what it was because she'd been lied to her whole life. She probably got a picture of Ches Ray on the wall at home, you know. So she, mm-hmm. she 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 see, she see the yeah. real Lord and she she bugging out. That's why she was tweaking. Like she, mm-hmm. it wasn't know, supposed to be that way. Yeah, you you see people act like that when they're on 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 or on uh, Flocka, you know, or some kind of hardcore drug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or if they just lost a family member. Like she was, she was crying, like 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 her 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 mom just died or something. You know, it's, you know, or some crazy just happened right before our eyes. You know, so this is what we're dealing with. We're, de- we're not dealing with ghosts and goblins. We're dealing with the power of the universe. Yeah, it is going to be spooky and eerie. Don't get me wrong. It is going to be spooky and eerie. However, we're dealing with something much more, much, much, much more uh, dominant than a, a, a mere specter. No, we're talking about the architect of the 
universe. We're talking about the power of Israel. And this is not a game. This is not, you know, brothers that are in this thing, that, that are out there preaching, that, that have come into the understanding that you're an Israelite. Uh, this isn't this isn't just a thing to do on Saturdays, or this isn't just a thing to uh, new videos to watch. This is your new favorite YouTube channel. No, this is this is deadly serious. And if you come into this understanding, then understand that these things that we talk about, all these horrible things that you see great notes don't speak about, which are the true prophets of the Lord, is 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 not just something that we're making up. This is actual prophecy written in the Holy Scriptures that somebody has to bring out. So we're bringing it out to help save. The elect. Now, the elect is going to understand it. The elect is going to get it, and ultimately, they're going to be saved. That's why the Lord put them aside, and there is the elect on the earth right now. Wherever they are, wherever they are, the Lord is going is, is going to save them out of the coming troubles. Where, and, and again, people have these visions of them, and they look pretty bad. But the, but the Lord is going to save those those men and women. Go ahead. And that's why, hey, the Lord, uh, real quick. Um, I'm going to bring this precept up. Uh, this is uh, Exodus 6 and 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. When you go into that, when you go into that word, God Almighty, it's Alashadja. All right? Being uh, like power. Uh, yeah, Almighty. Yeah, the Almighty. Alashadja. That was, that was a title. That's an ill title to have. That's a scary, that's a scary title. That's what, that's what the heathen used to call um, Yahweh Bashim Yahushar, Yahweh. That's what he used to call Yahweh. Yeah. He used to call him Hey, one real quick. Uh, one of the main reasons they call him that, the flood. Yep. <laughs> what what kind of power would do that? You know, yeah, great demon like power would do that. Okay. And yeah, that's when you go compliment. Go ahead, when you, so that when you go into the root word of of Sadia, is uh, Sadad, and it means to deal. Violently with <laughs> devastate, ruin, destroy. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know that. Hey, oh, you see that? And that's that's what the Lord is going to do once again, <laughs> and, and that's why. Because remember, uh, the Lord th uh, throughout the Old Testament, He had made Himself known to all the nations, and they feared the 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 uh, the flood when He He brought His children, He brought us out of Egypt. The nations feared. And he's gonna do that once again, and it's gonna be the greatest, the greatest time ever, man. The the most spectacular event that ever take place on the planet. So the the nation's gonna be the greatest show on earth. Yep. Uh, I got a question. Uh, I mean, I did chapter sixty six and uh, I started verse fifteen. So behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire. And with chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Kai, you see that? That's the Lord. Yahweh is going to send his son Yahweh Shai back on the earth to what? To, in, his, what? in his chariots. Again, those chariots are what the world is calling unidentified aerial phenomena or unidentified flying objects. That's what you. That's, that's what the world is calling these things. But we know through the spirit and power of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that they are identified through the scriptures, and it's not. They're not just dots in the sky. Those dots in the sky are going to come back and they're going to they're going to beat the absolute dull shit out of Esau. When those dots in the sky start coming down and showing themselves to be what they really are, they're not coming. They're not, they're not coming in peace. They're coming in peace. We're taking to your leader. No, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming to to, to whip the, the asses, the royal asses of these Edomites. That's what's going to happen. It's going to complete violence here on the earth. So, uh, if you, if you could read that again, brother. Uh, <laughs> this is Isaiah chapter sixty-six and verse uh, fifteen, and I read down to sixteen. Uh, For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh. Mm -hmm. Damn. And the flame of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a mouthful. You see that? So yeah. by fire, you see, so the Lord's going to come with wrath and fury. Okay, so the Lord's not coming in, in happy state of mind. He's not happy with the with how the world is being ran. Okay? The, the Lord is completely pissed off on how the world is being ran. 
All right, the Lord is bad. This plan is, 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 is absolutely destroyed. Okay? The Lord is not happy with that. The one the world calls God, that everybody's praise to God, oh God, Lord God. No, he ain't happy. This, this planet is a mess. Okay? This planet is an absolute mess. So when the Lord comes back, he's going to clean it up. He's going to send his chariots like a whirlwind to execute vengeance, uh, uh, the uh, fury of flames of fire. All right, and it says what it says. The, the Lord's gonna plead with all flesh, and that word plead. I know the brother my uncle goes to the lot. That word plead basically is um, what's it? Shapat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, judge, you're gonna judge. You're gonna judge with all flesh. And then the last part of the of the scripture says that the slain of the Lord is going to be many. The slain, not the not the saving of the Lord. The slain of the Lord, and the, that word slain means the killing, the, the death. The slain, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a violent time, and it's going to be many. So many people are going to be put to death out here, all right? But the ones that are, that, that are heeding to, to, to this word and believing in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, they're not going to be slain. They're going to be saved. Um, if if um, one of your brothers can get um, uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7, because to that char from chariots, man, they're coming back to do a lot of destruction, all right? But there's going to be also a certain sect of people on this earth that that understand that understand the visions that are being poured upon them and upon the rest of the people on this earth. Because hey, like you know, we started off. You get you got people who are probably two thirds that are, are slated to be destroyed that are having these these vivid ass visions of the destruction of the world. They don't understand it, but we understand what they're happening. What, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, whoever got it. Uh, 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 Oh, okay. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us, and the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels. Okay, stop right there. It says that you that are troubled, rest with us. Rest with who? Rest with the prophets of the Lord. Okay, the ones with the true understanding. All right, the righteous. Okay, you just understand. You understand. You're an Israelite now. You understand the woes of this world. Okay, too, too much uh, uh, wisdom come of sorrow, okay? So, instead of just being sorrow and woe is me, Spirit, come rest with us, because we, 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 we're in trouble, too. But rest with us, because we're we trying to get out of here, and we understand what's about to happen. And then, what's it say? Um, read this, the last part of it, I thought I'm being revealed. Uh, well, uh, when the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Yeah, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So that means the Lord is going to come back with his mighty angels. So the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come back. He ain't coming alone. He's coming with, he's coming posse up, man. But the mighty angels. And you think they're going to come over here and, and, and just and just talk shit? No, they come over here to take heads. Okay, they come over here to take heads. Yeah. All right? To take crowns from kings. Yeah. I'll read on. Uh, come. To the second Thessalonians chapter 1. In verse 8, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High. Yeah, and a lot of those people who know not the Most High, they may be actually, they may be the ones that actually have these visions. That's the crazy thing about it. A lot of these people that don't know the Lord, they may be devout Christians, but those, these devout Christians don't know squat about how Bashim Yahweh Shai. But the Lord is using them to, to bring out this edification, to help the elect. This is all, every, everything that happens on the earth, it's for the elect, whether it be a movie, whether it be uh, a, a heathen talking, making a YouTube channel about about UFOs, okay, or, 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 or what's going on in the news, a TV show, or something on a billboard sign. All of that is for the elect, okay. And the internet itself is all for the elect. All right. So these things that we see going on here, we we're not troubled by it. The Lord is using all that, but ultimately the wicked is going to be slain. Read that uh, verse eight one more time, brother. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter one, and verse eight, and flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, uh -huh. that obey not can... the gospel. Go ahead. Lucky. No, go ahead, uh, brother. And, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. John, the water. Yeah, they don't obey the Lord. They don't obey the gospel of the Lord. They do what they they do as thou wilt. They're on that Alice the Crowley doctrine. They think that the Alistair Crowley doctrine, which is talks about love, they don't understand what that really is. Okay? They don't understand what what, what that is. That's a love and acceptance. There's love any fucking thing. No. That's not what they, that's Satanism. Okay? So just because of that, 
the Lord's going to have to deal with you because you're not you're not following the gospel. You don't you don't believe in the Lord the way the scriptures uh, 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 speak about our Lord. You believe in what Christianity or some stupid ass religion tells you. You don't believe in the true doctrine of the Lord. For that, you're going to have to get judged. That's why it tells you those that are actually troubled out here, rest with us. Rest with who? Rest with the prophets, man. Okay. And if you're truly troubled to how the world is, then you then you then you're going to want to really see a change. And and if you really want to see a change, you're going to do what the Lord is asking you to do because the scriptures give you a clear a clear uh, direction on where to go if you want if if you want to see this world end if you want to hasten the day. Go ahead, brothers. Well, it's so like if I, may, if I may say, you know, he was bringing up a uh, little girl that had that vision. You know, can you even make a quick comparison, you know, uh, with the brother Ash and his dream? You know, what happens with that little girl is she's an uncomforted soul. You know, she's not comforted. So her mother's by her trying to comfort her, and she started busting out crying. Okay. You know, so what, hap- what happens, you know, with, with the brothers and they have visions like that? Of course, when we're in the vision or the dream is terrifying, but the comfort is, you know, Yah Bash you know, in Ash's dream, you know, uh Ariya showed up, you know, that's comfort, you know. And and things like that, you know, is just so in comparison, you know, the people that know not the most high and, and uh the people that do. You know, when Leviathan pops up, you know, people freaking out, you know, faces pale and can't speak because they can't utter the things that they've seen because they have they don't have the wisdom not understanding. So that's just the beauty of the time, which is the time that everything is heading into now. Uh, that's why I just, and this knowledge is so important and so crucial because these are just small examples of what's going to happen when these things finally manifest. You know, because these people out here that have no clue what's going on, they're, 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 they're going to be troubled and they're going to be, you know, harsh feelings for fear, you know, and, and they don't know the most high. So, you know, at the end of the day, their, their end is destruction. You know, but we're full of hope and full of that when the most high returns, we're not going to be ashamed of his return and being beamed up into those chairs. So, we'll, you know, we'll be those men. Yeah, uh, uh, well, Good, you yeah, that. well said, bro. Go ahead, no, you got it, bro. No, they, they just beautiful what the brother said, man. They, they're not comforted. That's why they, they, they bug out when they get these dreams because they don't know why they're getting the dreams. They don't know. Uh, so how much more when it, it becomes reality, you know? If, if they're bugging out from a dream or a vision, you know, then how much more when when reality smacks them in the face with a loaf of bread, you know, a a a, a, a three week old loaf of bread, Stella's, you know, Stella's a bag of rocks. <laughs> or 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 yeah, you see that, you know, and you know, last night, you know, me, me and Ash here, you know, we made the video about about the destruction that's about to come out here, and and we put out our scriptures regarding destruction. You know, we talked about it after the stream was over. And, and, uh, and uh, I, and I was telling, I was telling the brother about, you know, yeah, my, my, yeah, my dog, you know, my dog's old, my dog's about to die soon. You know, I, you know, I don't want to see that, you know. And then, and then the, and the brother, I was just like, hey, hey, man, that's something you're gonna have to deal with, you know, to the spirit, you know. And, and you know, I thought, you know, I thought about that. I was like, yeah, you know, you know, we just talked about that, we just talked about the destruction of the world, you know, yeah, you know, it's some something as as small as that, you know, that shouldn't shake you up because we're about to see something really, really crazy that the half the world not half the world no the majority of the world is it going to know how to handle it and the lord has given the spirit and spirit on his men to be able to handle these things you know and you know i know the brother was just busting my balls when he was saying that it wasn't no you know you know we're just talking candidly but that you know it's still spiritual you know so we 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 look at this thing we're preparing ourselves spiritually that's why we continually read these scriptures it it, 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 it seems like we're making the same lessons over and over again you know you know, you, you may watch the videos, you'd be like, yo, you, you just brought the same scriptures out, like, two two videos ago, or a video, you put the same scriptures out again, you know? We're not doing this for your entertainment. We're not trying to keep you entertained. That's not what this is about. This is a sincere warning from up high, and the Lord is just using men that are in the flesh to give you that warning. If you want to heed to it, then great. If you don't want to heed to it, that's no skin off our, our, off our neck. We don't care, all right? We're heeding to the one. We got the warning, all right? We got the warning, and we understand that this is this is real. This isn't no fake shit. All right, we're completely uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, uh, persuaded that this is that this is real, real, and we're we're gonna heed to the warning, and we're gonna do we're gonna pass it forward. We're gonna play it forward, and if you if you heed to it, great, come with us. If you don't want to hear it, then all right. 
go turn to another channel. Go do something else. Go do something else, man. Because when the shit starts happening, like we put out yesterday, you know, you're gonna you're gonna know what the prophets were among. You. You're gonna remember when when you get your head busted in by a back of a damn bayonet and you're bleeding on the floor, you know, crying. You turning over, you see a guy got a gun to your head. You're gonna know that the prophets were among you that day. You're gonna know. You're gonna be like, damn, they was right the whole time. I should have just listened. I said, it's too late now. The doors of repentance are closed. You lowered the law. You had you was you was, you was doing everything you wanted to do instead of doing everything the Lord wanted you to do. And you were living it up, living it up, living it up out here in the world, like like a goddamn rapper, like you a rapper or a fucking R&B singer, a rock star. You are living it up. You ain't got no fucking money in the bank. You you trying to live it up on Facebook and Instagram and shit, trying to take the funk when all this shit is happening around you. And you're not warning nobody about it. So what do you think the Lord's going to do to you? What do you think the, you think the Most High is going to do to you? He's not going to defend you. He's going to send plagues upon your punk ass. And that's not what we want. We don't want that to happen to us. We want to, we want to win. That's why you see brothers going hard and putting these videos up. You don't care. We don't give a fuck if, 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 if it's the same lessons over and over again. We're going to put up the same lessons over and over again. So that's the climate that we're in right now. We're in a time of, of, of waking our people up to the danger that's about to come. The mm -hmm. peril. All right? These things are coming. And brothers, brothers are actually having dreams and visions about this. I haven't had them, but brothers are having them. And I believe them. And I believe the scriptures. And the scriptures show men having these things. And it says that the Lord's going to lay spirit on all men, on flesh. Yep. Young and all men and women. So yep. this is actually happening. This is the times we're living in. And you fucking around playing games? You, you fucking with it. You playing with it. You fucking playing with it. A lot of you people just fucking playing with it. So the Lord's going to deal with you in a manner that... I, I don't. I don't want to describe right now because I. It, I don't have the words to describe it. But and that's all I got, brothers. I mean, you brothers got anything to bring out, man? <laughs> Give it to him, bro. Yeah. Hey, like brother, say, man. Hey, you know, you don't have to believe it, man. You just gonna have to see it. If you don't want to hearken unto the prophets of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, then you just gonna have to 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 take take the biggest L in the history of mankind. You know. Yeah, right. capital L, big L, just stamped on your forehead, <laughs> you know. But you know, that's that's. But hey, the Lord's having mercy, man. You know, uh, I did a, a video yeah. a couple of days ago with the Brother Quam about uh, the alms. The Lord is showing, is giving alms unto unto his, his his children, you know, which is mercy. So you know, there's not gonna be any, any excuses, man. You're not gonna be able to get away with nothing. You know, you're going to be held accountable for everything you've said, everything, everything you, every wicked thought you've had against this, this truth, man. because everything can be forgiven except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And there's, there's a lot of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit going on right now. All right. And that's why the Lord set up his prophets these last days so that people can blaspheme against the, the word, man. All right. Because the Holy, what is the Holy Spirit? This word, the truth, the comforter. So a lot of people is bucking up against this truth, the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So guess what? They ain't not gonna be forgiven. They just gotta die. And 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 up. it's evident. That's why, like the brother said, the, the dreams are happening and you know visions are being shown. Well, it takes faith to believe that what the, well, it's not just another dream, man. You know, you have dreams every night. Five, it, 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 sometimes three to eight dreams a night. All right, but. The spirit you got, you had, you had to have the spirit of discernment to see when it's a vision and when it's not, because the scripture tell you about, you know, dreams, you know, have led, you know, you know, roughly paraphrasing dreams of bug people out, send you on the wrong path. But then again, every every dream you get is not set by the Most High. It's just your own thoughts, you know, whatever you might have thought of something that night or whatever when you have a dream about it. But then, the, then again, the Lord will send you visions, you know. The Lord will send you direct visions, which will come in the form of a dream. Uh, and you have to be able uh, to... Because a vision is from the Lord. Go exactly. ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, exactly. You have to be able to discern what's from the Lord and what's not. And that's why yep. these, these videos are coming out now of, of, of people that are not even in the truth, don't know who the hell they are. And then what? The prophets of the Lord decipher that. That, that young girl... Talking about the Lord, he's coming, he's co That was a vision. But she didn't know that. They, her, her, her auntie, her mom didn't know that, you know. But what? The, the prophets of the Lord brought it to the forefront. And then what? We have dream, We have visions 
our, our families have this, and we we are the ones to break it down because we are the seers, like the brother said earlier. We're the seers. All right, it's not the, this. This ain't the first time this has happened. Okay, uh, Joseph, Daniel. Okay, what did they do? They broke down visions. They broke down dreams of other men, and they had dreams themselves. Okay, like like Joseph, he had a dream himself, where where his brethren would be bound down to him, and then what he do? He ended up going going and sold into slavery. And broke down the dreams of Pharaoh. Daniel. He broke down the, the, the dreams of Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. So so this is this is what the prophets are here for. Not just to. to, to I mean their main job is to, to prophesy against many countries. Many, many kingdoms. But what? We are here to establish the words of Yahweh outside. Which may come through different people. That are not in the truth. Through dreams. These visions. We we are the ones with the answers, man. And it's gonna be become more and more evident as the as the time approaches. You know? Cause we are the ones with the answers, man. Like, hey man, cause remember in the book of Daniel, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he got every all the all the wise men of, of Babylon, the Chaldeans, okay? The the soothsayers, the the astrologers, everybody, he got everybody to come try to get Tell him his dream and break it down. Nobody could do it. But what? A man of the Lord could. Daniel, the same thing. Uh, like the same thing with Joseph. All right? And, and hey, <laughs> it's happening again. We the only ones that can break down your dreams, man. Who knows what kind of dreams the, the, the elites are getting. <laughs> the most high probably bugging them wow. niggas out. But they know... Because they, they be watching our videos and, and through the spirit, they get the breakdowns on it, man. <laughs> but, hey, man, it's, <laughs> hey, we, we, we Lord's will, we be that part of that number. We those men to, to give you the answers, man. We got the answers. Again, like Kanye said, you ain't got the answers, Sway. <laughs> you you people don't have the answers, man. The prophets of Yahweh and Shai have the answers, man. Amos 3 and 7. If a brother want to grab that real quick and we can close out. Amos 3 and 7, because what? You might get a dream, or, all right, a dream, a vision. You don't know what the hell you just seen. But I guarantee you a prophet of the Lord does. And he didn't even have to see it. He just got to hear it. Go ahead. Whoever got it. Amos 3 and 7, the Lord surely doeth nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the, his servants, the prophets. Yeah, exactly, man. So the, these, these dreams, man, are a lot of times they're secrets, like Easter eggs, man. They're Easter eggs, and you gotta know where where the East, like like video games, they have Easter eggs, hidden things in them. Yeah, everybody can play the video game, but they don't know where the Easter eggs are, man. You gotta know the, the secrets, the mysteries, and that's what the prophets of the Lord are set up to do, man. To break these things down, to tell the people plainly. The scriptures say, make it plain upon tables that he that readeth may run. The Lord ain't finna come down here and, and give you the breakdown on your dream. He got seers out here to tell you that. You know, and, and we've we seen it, man. You know, uh, 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 our family, you know, comes up to us all the time giving us their dreams, man. Because they know. They know we got the answers, man. They trying to get the breakdown on their own dreams, man. You know, my I, I know my young can testify for, uh, to that. Our family be coming up, telling us their dreams, man. Trying to get the breakdown. They be having dreams. Like this, we read earlier, you know, about the visions. The, the, you know, the dream. Hey, well, this, the Lord put the spirit on all flesh. And, and, and what? They got to come th to get the answers. They ain't not going to get the answers. They bugged out, so they need answers. And that's what we're here for, man. To 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 uh to to prophesy, rebuke, and to give answers, man. Because we got we the ones with the answers. At the end of the day, we the ones gonna have the answers. And going back to that dream, we had the answers, man. Everybody's bugging out. They, they, I'm asking, you know, in the dream, I'm asking them what what happened. But I was the one with the, with the answers. I knew what was going on, and I didn't even see it. 
and and that's and that's a dream or a vision. And I I, I believe you know it's not going to happen exactly like that, but it, that's a vision. Okay, the chaos is going to come, destruction is going to come. People are going to be bugging out and seeking answers, man. And that and that's what. Yes, that's, the Lord. Go ahead, you got it. I was say, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord assigned certain men on this earth to be able to break those things down. All right, and those men are, are what you see on the on the highways and byways, uh, uh, are preaching their heart out. Those are those those are those men. That's their job. The job is is, is to prophesy, and 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 that's what you you know that's what we are. Lord willing, we the Lord's prophet, and to the spirit we are. And yes, we we get paid very well to do this. We get paid spiritually to do this. Yeah. We don't have access to our funds yet, but we <laughs> just believe believe us when we say we get paid very well to do this. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and and you know it, we may look humble and and and, and uh, lowly, but that's the that's the part of the job is right. to is to be broke right now and to be humble and lowly right now. But when we're finished, when the job is over, then we get paid, and it's going to be a beautiful day. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for to to, to do the Lord's work. This is the the Lord needs needs this to be done, and He hired us to do the job. We break down these visions. We we, we break down the visions, even of the Bible, of the old prophets, because the, even even of the old prophets, you know, they didn't understand what they what they were writing now. All right, that's why the elders and apostles they able to break down. They able to break down, uh, um, 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 you know, Book of Revelation and things like that. They didn't, you know, John the Revelator write those wrote those scriptures. I mean, he think he understood what. What he was really, what he was really putting down? No, not not at all. You don't know what the the the, the mark of the beast is. You know, he didn't understand that that's going to be a microchip. You know that you, you know, that that that's beyond his understanding at that time. Yeah, cause he saw it, but, but he didn't now, know what this, he didn't know what it was. You know, he didn't know what it was. You know, son, it's like the um and and the prophets of old, like Isaiah. You know, he didn't understand. You know, we read. You read um um like Isaiah thirty four when it goes into the yeah, goes into the the sword of heaven and all yeah. these things like you know what is that what the hell is that you know, Malachi talking about the place you know you know Malachi four one it, it, we we know there's going to be destruction but the the actual tool that's implementing the, the disaster they don't understand what that is but here it is the prophets are back today as you know so the red you know. It, 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 the secrets have been revealed unto us, and starting with elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, they revealed it unto us, the younger ones, the babes. All right, the young guys, we're the young guys, and the old guys, which are still alive right now, and we learn from. They they taught us. They they paved the road. They they they, they cleared out the path for us, and we're walking one at a time on that path. Okay, we're walking one at a time on the path. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, and, 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 which, and we are. Yep. Yeah, yeah, going to uh, second and seven. Yeah. You know, we, we're taking a taking our sweet time. We, the path is cleared. We're walking one by one, and we, and we all have the same the, the same uh, um, um, destination in mind, which is salvation. All right, the kingdom of heaven. But we have to get through this. And if you don't understand what's going on right now, you don't understand these signs and signals the Lord has given you. Then you're you're you're, you're walking blind, and ultimately, where you're going to go, you're going to end up in the ditch. All right, and there's going to be no way out of that ditch. So you know, you know, it's time. To, it's time. It's time to take this serious. All right, you see everything happening out here in the world. Take it serious. Listen to the men of the Lord. Listen to the prophets. Listen to the elders of the Great Millstone. That's where you're going to get the understanding, and the men underneath them get the understanding. Take this serious because ultimately the time is short right now. Now is the point where it's not. Now you can't really play with it. The Lord, the Lord is about to close that door on the ark, and if you're not on the ship. You know, get ready to drown spiritually. All right. Anything else, brothers? Nope. Uh, all right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and close out this lesson. We're going to give all honor and glory and praise to our Lord Yahweh. Bashem. Yahshem. Yahshem. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Exclusive to you, I came out there that pushed this word in truth and sincerity week in and week out, day in and day out, without wavering and in sound doctrine. All right. And of course, shalom to any sisters out there that are trying to get this understanding by listening and meet this quietness and humbleness. With that, we say shalom. Shalom.